Hi guys, guess I'm gonna do another episode. Just so we can get past the... the hell is that? Someone in power armor. I want nothing to do with that. Turning back to Diamond City. I'll try a sneaky little bugger. <coughs> Look at these kind of bold of them. They're coming to the outskirts of Diamond City. Maybe I should, um... Maybe I should see about putting my strength up. Can't hear jack crap with these guys. moon could be a bit better rendered. And again, I don't suppose too many people spend their time looking up. Shut up, Doge. I think we're getting close now. It's 
such a peaceful place before they moved in. Oh, bloody helicopters flying around everywhere. That was a humongous explosion. That was like a really interestingly large nuke. Oh god. No, don't come this way. La 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 la. Oh, goody, the Wanderer. Only a few seconds worth. Might not have detected it. Man, that just makes you. just jars you. Excuse me. Hey, what's up, bud? Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay. Do, 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 guys out there so yeah a little bit more insight into me so a little nugget for you i would actually rather sit down and watch nfl or baseball than i would sit down and watch cricket or rugby league here in australia rugby union for that matter as well or even even afl i much prefer baseball and nfl as sports I think they're more entertaining to watch, but that's just me. I'm weird like that. Although I tell a lie because NFL and baseball are becoming much more widespread and popular here in down under Australia. So there you go. It's, um, Actually, I can source some of this stuff elsewhere. I'll store it at, um, what do you call it? Nix, because there's an empty. Hey, see that big blimp? What's the Brotherhood of Steel? But why are they here? To take over, matey. Ask you something. A crazy question. You didn't see a flying ship recently, did you? Yeah, I certainly did. Seen a lot crazier shit than that today. Yeah, it takes a long time, but we get there in the end, right? I never professed to be the kind of guy that would I'm play this game too swiftly. Be a great quote. He's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a man's private affairs? Well, well, speak of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. What happened? You were right, Nick. Kellogg did have my son. That wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. 
I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. No, oh, Mr. Metal for Hands doesn't know how to get back to the factory. No, I skipped that part of the orientation film while they were busy pulling me apart and putting me back together again. Look, the sad thing is... I have no idea. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. <laughs> exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah. Figures the Institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type to be taken alive. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Yeah, um, I blew his head off with a laser rifle. His dick wouldn't come off, though. I'm gonna need a really sharp ice cream scoop. I'm sure you'll manage. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I'll head there on my own. All right. See you at the den. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Huzzah! Just a few more steps. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. Hmm. Hey, uh... Let's go to store some stuff. Carrying too much. Ellie? Hmm? Nothing stays hidden forever. Nice. Anything I can find for you? I'll just use this dresser, shall I? Um. So, uh, let's see. That's, that's got a value on it that I like, so. Actually, you never know when you might need some medical, so I'll just save that one. Um. The biometric scanners are definitely coming with me. The basketball can stay. Sorry guys, needs to be done. Hmm. 
Only yeah, I have the use for it. Let's do this the easy way. Uh, as far as all weapons go. That can stay. I really do want to keep the rest. So, apparel, uh, mechanics, jumpsuit, I'm taking that with me, patrolman sunglasses. Stays, scavenger outfit. Uh, the sequin dress can stay. Store that here for now as well. Really nothing else to do, do there. Uh, my aid, that stuff stays with me. Miscellaneous. I got Pipful. I'll uh, show you that a little bit later on. Antifreeze. Um, I don't want to. Bit of junk. None of these weigh anything, so I don't know where, where I'm going to lose all the rest of my weight. Which is a shock, but I went to. Uh, show you. okay, so I'm gonna leave that and that keeping that on me, I'll drop that in there and and that need more. Only half. Pretty, um, e. Okay, I am now able to do what I need to do. Okay, so uh, hang on, I'll just go here. Uh, map. There's only three people there. That's weird. Can't travel from this location. Okay. We have to go outside for it. Um, once I've dr dropped a whole bunch of this garbage off, it'll be easy. There we go. 
Uh, well, that's another episode, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm not really going to be doing any more story tonight. Um, just a bit of tinkering. So what I'll do is uh, I won't, I'll spare you that. So when you come on next time, I can get back into some more of the meat and potatoes. Um, and we'll do a little bit of an update on what I upgraded and stuff as well. For now, I'd like to thank you all for stopping by and making me part of your day. I uh, do appreciate it. I, I say it every time, and I mean it every time. Really do appreciate it. Um, keep those subs coming where you know it. I'll we'll be giving some stuff away to share the joy. Oh, excuse me. I am so tired, eh? <laughs> um, yeah, so there's that. And... Um, liking subscribing and comments guys go for it and there it is all beneath go for it that's it and done guys i hope you've enjoyed this run of episodes slow and steady wins the race as they say and we will get back into it real soon for now it's goodbye from me it's goodbye from doge meat see ya That wraps up another episode of Fallout 4. Y'all come back now real soon and see another episode with me and Doge Me doing what we do best. Dying. See ya. <laughs>